one, Tim here. Like I said, I'm quite a play quietly fan, so why not I rank Gossip Girl? I've ranked some of my, you know, some of the shows I enjoy. Why not Gossip Girl? Starting with season four, and yes, I'm not going to add in the this new piece of shit that's for some re- somehow uh, got renewed. But um, I digress. Starting with season four, this was you know it was it was a good season. It just it went you know you had <clears throat> Blair and Chuck going on and off. Dan was kind of a father figure for a little bit. Um, you know, Serena was doing her thing. It just didn't seem like Gossip Girl to me with with, with the season. It was weird. It's like Supernatural, like season twelve, where it went. It was going very rocky, and uh, like very odd. And then like you go to what the next season, you're like. A better season is just what was that? It was kind of it was a weird one. It it's still good. You have the episode of the same director of um, Christmas Vacation and um, Benny and June directed. That was good. Like you know, um, there's certain episodes I really do enjoy. Then there's just you know, it's just you know, it depends. But uh, but, you know, I, there's no seasons on here I hate. At all, unlike Supernatural or, yeah, whatever. But yeah, and the final appearance of Jenny until season six, she guest stars back. Next to season six, which I, at least I I, I did like the, you know, the, the reveal, and I I really did like the. You know, relationships we end up seeing. Um, so you know, but there's just things I, that I was, you know, all right with, but um, it's still a good one. And then you get to season two with, you know, you have Nate and things with Serena. And, and, you know, everything with Dan, Serena, and Nate, this, like, love triangle. Um, Jenny d- d- doesn't get to, you know, her real style yet, which, um, you know, it's still a fun season, but it's not, like, you know, the ones I, you know, the, it's not my favorite. Season 5, to me, is honestly an underrated, but, you know, it's one of those seasons, to me, it's underrated, um, and I could put it on the list, but, like, I usually do with other seasons, because most of my favorite, you know, a lot of seasons from shows, my favorite's the fifth, um, and... It was originally was because uh, I really loved the you know the, uh, I've always liked Serena and Dan. I'm sorry, I'm not a fan of Serena and Nate. I always enjoyed Serena and Dan, and I just loved her confessing her love to Dan, and you know the love making with with, with C- I think it was episode twenty four. Such a brilliant you know brilliant writing within you know those scenes alone um but you know two more season three i i I love a lot because you have vanessa who is just next to serena my my favorite uh second favorite serena being my number one But Vanessa kind of softening up to um, Dan, where which is weird because it's Nate with Serena is the same thing, you know. Just these, you know, these best friends having you know doing stuff, and I really like that with with this season. 
Um, and, in, uh, you know, it's just you have the episode where Serena loses her virginity. You have the episode, the infamous um, threesome episode with Hilary Duff. Uh, her name Olivia, I believe. Her, her name being Olivia in, in the show. Damn. Just damn, damn, damn. Everyone in this fucking show, like... The casting... Like, everybody... You know, the casting people of this series is like... Thank you. You know? Everybody in this show is just beautiful. But, um... Yeah, I, I always enjoyed... Uh, this season, I think it, you know, it's just, it's a top-notch season, uh, where even you have Jenny not being, you know, a Blair, carbon copy of Blair, you're having, because Taylor wanting to get into her, you know, her own style, and, you know, Taylor was literally wanted Jenny to be Taylor, uh, so, you know, the creators just put her own style into the show, which I always thought was very accurate and flawless. Um, and uh, such a top-notch season. It's not my number one. My number one, of course, is season one. It's It's season one. You have so much, you know, impact for this season that it's just there's so much going on you know it's how I was with Desperate Housewives and, and how I was with you know um, Nip Tuck and all these like really you know great shows with with wonderful first seasons and it, it's so much like that with um, with the pilot and, and especially the second episode going on and just the whole delivery with, so you'll pick me up at 8. It's like, you know, this is going to become a really good show and a really good series. That I can just focus on this and just not on whatever the hell they want to do with the continuation bullshit. But to each their own, I do digress. So that's my ranking. Um, hope you enjoy this. This is, again... My ranking for my, you know, season one through, like, season one, two, three, four, five, six. That's it. Um, so I hope you like this, and that's that.